Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to discuss current affairs of 27th January 2024. So first we are going to take PDF of The Hindu. Here I am taking Delhi edition. Okay. And we are going to pick out the articles which are important from our UPSC point of view. And we are also going to the syllabus copy also. So that we can see where source the topic exactly fit into our syllabus. And apart from that, we are also going to provide you the notes of this class and you can download the notes from our telegram channel. Link is given in description box. And yesterday's um, comment session, so I got many comments like I am not finding the link of UPC syllabus. So today I will be posting this UPC syllabus PDF in telegram channel. There you can download the PDF of this syllabus. Okay. So let us see the first article. So first article in front page is India France defense ties take a bigger leap. So this article is talking about defense cooperation between India and France. So this article is very important. So now let us see some dimensions. So this article is talking about India France relations. So where this article is important? So this article is important from your GS paper to under international relations and even from GS paper 3 security point of view and even from GS paper 3 from science and technology also this is very important. So now let us see some dimensions. So how it is important from your GS paper 2. So let us move back to syllabus and I will show you there where exactly it fits. So in our GS paper 2, we will be having international relations. So GS paper 2 includes quality and governance, social justice and international relations. So let's go to this international relations. So in this international relations, you have bilateral relations. So in this bilateral relations, you will be studying about India, US, India, UK and other countries like India, France, India, Japan. So there exactly this topic is fitting. Okay. And if you see in this GS paper 3, so we have science and technology, right? Technology here. So there we can also see like what are the different technology that we have. Okay. So in this science and technology, they said about Fields of IT, space, computers, robotic, nanotechnology, biotechnology, issues related to IPR, right? And it also saying about advancements, developing new technology. So not developing new technology, defense technology will also include. Okay, so that it is fitting. And apart from that, here in this GS paper 3 itself, we have security, right? Internal security. So there you have to know about, so how can we... Uh, use this weapons or technology that we are getting from the other countries to maintain security and to maintain peace in our country. So from that point of view, so these three subjects are relevant. Okay, so here we have to see like India-France relations. So what is the background? And you have to see history. And you can also focus on important areas of cooperation. So this part is very important from your mains. And even you can see like what are the challenges. So apart from this one important point that you have to focus is why France is important. Why France is important and why we need to have the good relations with the France. That means it comes into the significance of India-France relations. So this will be also a direct 10 marker question. Okay. And you can also see the map. So from map, you can get a map based question. So all these are the different areas that you have to focus from single subject. That is IR point of view. And from security point of view, you have to see like how this technology is useful. And even you have to focus on indigenization of technology. Right. 
we also focus on indigenization of technology and from science and technology you have to see like defense technology and in this article they also talked about space technology collaboration between india and france so here you can see like space technology as well okay so what are the recent developments that you have to see so all these are some important dimensions that you have to see from this article so don't only read from this gs paper to ir point of view okay so if you want to write a good answer that in a multi dimensional manner so this approach is very very useful okay so in this areas of cooperation we can also connect with society we can also connect with economy like that okay even other subjects we can include here so this is the front page of delhi edition and here you can see one more important article so you can see this image of tiger right so something is missing here and something that is elevated so it is a ro rare golden tiger that means you can't uh, see like dark uh, black strips so there will be very light black strips are seen and it is looking like a golden shade okay so here rare golden tiger snapped in kaziranga so this article is important and now let us see some dimensions so here this article is talking about two important things first one is rare golden tiger and second one is kaziranga national park okay so there are two important things which are said in this article so first one it is about rare golden tiger second one is kaziranga national park so what are the dimensions that you have to think so first one is what is this golden tiger okay so what are the reasons for this golden tiger so the important reason here is mutation mutation in genes so here again you can read what is this mutations so what are the impact of mutation and we can connect this mutation with our current fights right uh, so there are lots of mutations are going on in this covid 19 and that is leading to the different variants so this topic that you can add here okay and you have to see the status of this rare golden tiger and there is one name which is given to this rare golden tiger so you have to see what is that so all these are important from this rare golden tiger point of view and from your kaziranga national park you have to see in which state in state of assam okay and also here we have topic called as tiger so this tiger which comes under keystone species and government is focusing on conservation of tiger for that government came up with this concept called as project tiger so after implementation of this project tiger yes we doubled number of tigers in india so it is a very successful project that i can say and in this context you can see like national tiger conservation authority ntca so what is that what is the role and even you can focus on tiger census and you have to see like recent data of this tiger census it will be conducted in once in every 4 years clear so all these are the extra dimensions because of this word tiger yeah and if you see this Na kaziranga national park where it is located in state of assam right you have to see other national parks in state of assam and you have to see which are the rivers flowing through this national park and you can see what are the problems faced by this kaziranga national park every year in monsoon season 
so it is it is facing the floods okay so all these things that you have to remember okay and you have to see whether it is a, a tiger reserve or not okay like that you have to know some facts regarding this kaziranga national park so where this article fits so this article fits under this environment topic which comes under this gs studies paper 3 okay so that is gs studies uh, 3 that is gs 3 so here you can see conservation so from this conservation point of view this article is important and we can fit this article in this conservation topic clear and let's go back to the paper so there is one more article that is interesting union government makes it clear that aadhar card no proof of citizenship or a birth certificate or a birth date so here in 2018 if i am not wrong so there was a question regarding this aadhar and in that aadhar they gave the statement like so aadhar cannot be changed so i am giving the gist of that question aadhar card cannot be changed and the second statement is it is a proof of citizenship it is a proof of citizenship in india it is a very very easy question in 2018 prelims so only two question two statements are given an option is one which are the statements are correct one only two only both neither yes aadhar can be changed so if you are facing any mistake if you find any mistake in your aadhar card like uh, name or a place or if you want to change the photograph or if you want to change the address yes you can change and this one is it is not a proof of citizenship this is not a proof of citizenship so this is the thing even it is said in the present article so answer is d neither one nor two okay so in this way you can get a simple questions in upsc prelims yeah so now let us see this article what it is saying about union government makes it clear that aadhar card no proof of citizenship birth date so here you have to know some facts regarding what is aadhar so new aadhar cards and pdf versions of identity document have started including more explicit disclaimer that a proof of identity so it is not a citizenship or the date of birth so this is a thing which mainly sent by the central government so aadhar card has never been a proof of citizenship as foreign nationals are also eligible to obtain one if they have been living in india for 180 days so even if foreigners are living in india for 180 days so they are also eligible to get this aadhar card that means it is not a sign of citizenship okay different government departments accept it for process for the purposes reserved for the citizens or adult but even though it is not a citizenship card okay and even election commission of india explicitly accepts aadhar as a proof of date of birth for enrolling people to vote but these new clarifications came up okay because there are some challenges and there are some questions you are asking like so whether we can take this aadhar card as a as a date of certificate or the date of birth or the proof of date of birth so this id is also includes warning that authenticating them offline needs to be done by scanning the qr code on the reserve side of the document so here what is the thing which mainly said here is so the two important things that you have to remember so first one is aadhar card it is not a proof of citizenship and even it is not a proof of date of birth so even though eci or any other government uh, schemes or the government is taking aadhar card so even uh, i can say one scheme like in our state we have shaadi mubarak scheme that means after uh, getting married so here uh, bride will be getting around 1 lakh rupees from the government so in that scheme also aadhar card is taken as a day as a proof for a uh, date of birth okay so even though here it is not a uh, not a identity card which is a proof of date of birth which is the thing it said now and even it is not a proof of citizenship because even foreigners who are living in india for 180 days so they can get this aadhar card okay so these are the two important things that you have to remember and here you have to know some uh, facts regarding this uidai 
okay that's it and in the city page i found nothing much important and most of the news in our newspaper is covering republic day parade okay so if you have watched the news then it will be okay so or else you can go to the articles but i will be not discussing those in the class in the states page also i found nothing much important so whatever the thing which is important from examination point of view i will be not leaving that okay yes this article is important it is about bilkas bano case so already we discussed this topic again let us see some important points which are given in this article so this you have to know about what are this riots in gujarat of 2002 and what happened in this case and what is the reason supreme court judgment and next here you can see one topic it is endless war so this article it is about russia ukraine and nato should make a practical assessment of war so this article is talking about ukraine and russia issue so recently what happened a russian plane had been crashed okay the crash of russian plane with ukrainian prisoners of war on board has once again show how delicate the situation between the two countries that have been a war since february 2022 onwards so russia says that kiev down the plane which had 65 ukrainian soldiers okay a russia uh, it is a russian border town that has seen repeated ukrainian shellings in the recent months and this kiev has slammed russia for spreading propaganda but has not ruled out its possible role in the downing okay so again the issue is going on between russia and ukraine so here you have to know about uh, what is this nato that is not atlantic treaty organization so let us see some dimensions here so this article is talking about especially nato so we are not going to bother about this russia ukraine issue because number of times we had discussion so here what is this nato during cold war so many of you are beginners right so please let me know how many of you are beginners okay how many of you started your preparation recently like uh, around 3 uh, to 6 months okay it has been 3 to 6 months because initially you will be facing lots of issue and i i can understand like what are the problems will be faced by the beginners and especially reading current affairs is a big challenge and understanding what is happening around us is also very very difficult for the students who started recently and if you have started like around 2 to 3 years then you can understand what is going on but it's not with the case of beginners so i am keeping in mind the needs of the beginners and i will be teaching every article okay which is important from examination point of view from basics okay and if you see here what is this nato so what happened during 1960s so by the time of 1960s world war 1 done world war 2 done right world war 2 ended in year 1945 so after that we came with establishment of britain who twins like world bank imf etc but what happened in 1960 1960s cold war started so in this cold war two power blocks were formed so one is on west and one is on east so we have usa on one side and we have ussr on another side okay so two power blocks are formed so one is usa and another is ussr clear that is during the cold war era so usa said that the country which are show, which are joining this usa we are going to provide military protection so they came up with this concept called as nato so nato is nothing but north atlantic treaty organization okay so according to this nato one provision you have to remember is for example these are all the countries which are part of nato so if any other country which is attacking this country means so entire nato will be united and it will be attacking that so and so country that means if attack on one country of the member of nato it is considered as attack on entire nato according to this nato principle so to counter this here russia that is ussr also came up with one concept called as warsaw pact so what is it called as it is called as warsaw pact okay so what happened now so why now russia and ukraine they are fighting from february 
so if we see like the next month it will be like two years of this russia ukraine war so if you see here from february 2022 onwards why this russia and ukraine are fighting okay so here ukraine it wants to join nato so if you see here we have russia and, and russia is uh, sorry russia is sharing directly bound with ukraine so if ukraine is joining this nato means so nato forces they will be standing across the border of russia and ukraine so it is not at all accepted for this russia and recently sweden and finland also joined this nato okay so because of this reason russia is attacking this ukraine clear so this is about this issue and here you have to know some facts of this nato so what is this nato and you have to see countries which are recently joined this nato so what are the principles of this nato that's all nothing more nothing less yeah and there is no need of going through this ground zero and today is saturday so there is no text and context even yeah here you can see like india at 2047 what does it takes to make the nation rich improve quality of life yeah i forgot to give the tip of for today to clear upsc is it's very uh, difficult but if you think okay so if you want to do it yes you can do it so let me see how many of you are going to do it yeah so the today's tip i will be writing on the screen if you want you can make a note so as UPSC aspirant, you have to know about what are the problems facing by our country, problems facing by India. So the tip here is you have to know what are the problems facing by India. Yes, you are some people or like beginners, they might not be knowing about the problems. So here I will be giving you some dimensions. For example, in education point of view, in health point of view, in economy point of view, international relations point of view, in border security point of view. Okay. In environment point of view, science and technology point of view, okay, regarding women's safety, regarding child marriages, etc. You have to see like what are the important problems and not only knowing the problems, so first one is you have to know the problems as I said and second one is you have to know enough data which substantiates that yes we have a problem and you have to see like what are the measures already taken and you have to suggest some measures. at least i am expecting 10 problems that you are facing in india okay and you can take an a4 size paper and you have to write the different dimensions and in the economy what are the problems like gdp wise like production wise like manufacturing wise like exports wise like that okay so these are ideas and you have to divide them into paragraphs and you have to support your arguments with data like that and you have to give like measures for each and everything so if you write this then you can understand why you want to be a civil servant so in which area you have to work and please let me know this thing also yes you want to be a civil servant right so after becoming a civil servant in which area you will be focusing okay and let me know why so this is the task so start thinking from today and start thinking like a bureaucrat okay 
so this is the one tip here is if you understand the problem then you will be getting clarity like so why you want to enter into the civil services and in which area you are going to focus so this is very very important thing and before starting your preparation itself you have to know what are the problems that you are facing so this is a tip of the day okay and here you can connect those problems here like india 2047 what does it takes to make the nation rich and how can we improve the quality of life okay so this is very very important and if you move on yes this article is very important from page number 12 that is six workers killed in fire inside nagaland's rat hole coal mining so here there are many dimensions that you can focus so first one is it is talking about rat hole mining so it is talking about rat hole mining so what are the dimension you have to see what is this rat hole mining and you can see like in which areas it is predominant and you have to see different types in this rat hole mining and also role of ngt that is national green tribunal because it had been banned in year 2014 itself but even though it is going on okay so that is called as illegal mining and you can see like what are the concerns regarding this rat hole mining so this article is important from gs paper 1 under geography so in geography you will be studying about this chapter called as resources so in this resources coal is one of the important resource okay so from that point of you have to see like different types of coal like we have anthracite bituminous peat and lignite so which kind of coal that can be seen in india and even if you are connecting with the rock system so in which rock system india coal is belonging to okay either archean period rocks or gondwana period rocks okay and you have to see like in which area coal mining is happening in india okay and you have to see like what are the concerns on environment what are the concerns on environment if we are going for this rat hole mine so all these things are very very important okay now here you can see one more interesting article it is about chandrayaan helped moon lander make a pinpoint landing says japan so recently japanese space agency so what is the name of this japanese space agency so in india we have isro in the same way japan has jaxa okay jaxa jaxa has launched this moon mission and the name is slim s l i m so what is the name s yes, l i m so what is this s l i m stands for it stands for smart lander for investigating moon so it stands for smart lander for investigating moon so now japan has became the fifth country to have a soft landing on moon so this is very very important that's it and if you move on okay so these are the very important articles that appeared in our today's newspaper so now let us see the notes okay so this is our notes today and if you want to download the notes you can join the telegram channel link is given in description box and we started this main science writing course on 22nd january 2024 it has not been late you can join this so many students have the dilemma like when to start this science writing practice and many students they will be thinking like after clearing prelims i will be sitting and learning this main science writing but it is practically impossible because between this prelims and mains you will be having just 3 months of time so in this 3 months of time you have to revise your optional 
you have to revise your GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4. So you will be not getting any time to learn answer writing there. And even that three months of time is not at all enough to develop the skills. So if you, if you want to develop the skills and if you want to write answers within a time limit of seven to eight minutes, you need to practice a lot. That too, at least one to one and a half year before your examination. So for that, we are launching this course, already launched this course. And this is one year course where we are covering entire your GS. So believe me, if you are following the schedule that we are going to give you in this course, I can say 100% that you are going to complete your entire GS portion, which is GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4, along with your essay and case study within one year. So this is such a useful course. You will be not getting this type of course anywhere with this 100% PAKKA plan. And one more thing here is if you join in this and you will be left only with optional. So if you are uh, spending like one to one and a half hour daily, yes, you can also excel this optional as well. And main is the ball game. So without having this answer in skills, I can say 100% you are not going to clear this UPSC and you will be out of the game. So don't do this. So if you want to clear UPSC within minimum attempts, and if you don't want to waste your time, so come and join us in this main translating course. And we're also having the live doubt clearing sessions and live essay writing class and case study classes. So there it will be like two way interaction. So you will be also developing your communication skills that will be important from your interview point of view. There you will be expressing your own perspectives and even many students they will be interacting there so that knowledge exchange will be happening, knowledge sharing will be happening. So don't miss this chance. So if you want to join this course, you can contact me on this number 8074765513. And even this is WhatsApp number, you can call, you can talk to me on WhatsApp as well or else you can ping me on WhatsApp. So now let us see the notes part. So let us see the first article. It is about India, France, defense ties. So why it is in news? So India and France, they have announced a defense industrial roadmap. And we are having good cooperation on this defense production. And we are also coming up with future collaboration regarding co-design and co-development of military hardware. And even you are having uh, agreements regarding the space cooperation between India and France. So the roadmap was a part of number of agreements between the two countries that were sealed during the talks between Prime Minister and as well as French President. So now let us focus on the important aspects from UPSC point of view. That is the different areas of cooperation. So first area is geopolitical level. So India and France, they have the close geopolitical relations. Especially France was the first P5 country to support India's membership in United Nations Security Council reforms. So in this way, France is helping India. And next one is France support was vital in India's accession to MTCR. So India became the member of MTCR and as well as vaginal group and Australian group. Okay, Australia group, but India needs to get membership in NSG. So India's entry into NSG, okay, nuclear supply group is stopping by China. And France got the unique honor of being the country that has been invited highest number of times as a chief guest for Republic Day. So this is also one important significance. And next one is in geostrategic manner. So France has been appreciative of geostrategic concerns of India and especially we are taking some measures to boost geostrategic cooperation and France has offered its biggest strategic asset in Indo-Pacific territory to India and especially Indian Air Force planes they have been deployed to Reunion Island. And this one is France also have given equities in organizations Okay, especially in this Indian Ocean Commission to India. And even France also became the part of India, France, Australia, Tilateral Dialogue. Okay, and it is focusing on free and open Indo-Pacific region. And even one more important relationship between India and France is, so France supported India regarding this Jammu and Kashmir issue. 
okay so here france is also helping india to counter pakistan sponsored terrorism and even here india france is supporting india to counter against china as well and this one is in this area of defense and security india and france relationship is very good and had been increased many a times so france emerged as a key defense partner for india and we are getting major equipment like rafale mirage 2000 fighter aircraft and scorpion submarines from france and here yeah, france has been regularly conducting joint exercises for example joint naval exercise we have varuna and joint air force exercise garuda and army exercise shakti it is very very important from your prelims point of view and even we are undertaking joint patrolling in indian ocean region as well so if you see in the area of economy like economic cooperation india and france they have robust economic partnership so we are having the good economic partnership between india and france so bilateral trade between india and france has reached a new peak that is around us dollar 13.4 billion as per 2020 to 2023 data and if you see here france also became the 11th largest foreign investor in india okay and this one is in energy and climate india and france have the good relationship and especially we are focusing on even climate change and french is also supporting india's entry into this nsg that is nuclear suppliers group in 2008 okay and in and france is also uh, formed or established this india and france together they established this isa that is international solar alliance so if we're talking about from diaspora point of view around 1 lakh 9000 indians they are largely originating from french enclaves of pondicherry karaikal yana mahe chandranagor so they live in france okay so here If you're talking about a good uh, chunk of Indian population, they are living in other French overseas territories like Reunion Island and Guadeloupe and Martin and Saint Martin. Okay, so these are some important areas of cooperation between India and France. So, if you're talking about what is significance of India-France relations, yes, France is very very important for India for securing Indo-Pacific region. Okay, for example, we have India-France Joint Strategic Vision for Cooperation in Indian Ocean. So we came up with this initiative in year two thousand eighteen. And next one is strategic autonomy. So India-France relation, it is strategically autonomous. Okay, for example, we have France support of India after this nineteen ninety eight Pokhara nuclear test. and this one is here, here france is also helping india to enter into key organizations like unsc and nsc and even for maintaining of global stability also china, france is very very important and this one is we have this horizon 2047 agreement between india and france so it is laying the road map regarding how indian and france are collaborating in the next 25 years okay especially in the fields like supercomputing cloud computing and artificial intelligence quantum technologies okay like that so that technologies will be very helpful for india's future clear so this is about this india france relations and now let us see next topic it is about rare golden tiger so more than one tiger with golden coat it is believed to be present in kaziranga national park so now let us see what are the reason the reason here is mutation Okay, tiger looks gold because it has mutation or there is genetic variant. Okay, so basically tiger have three colors that is black, orange, and white. And this tiger we have the shifted shades of orange and as well as black. So earlier, so one uh, golden tiger has been spotted in this Kaziranga, and the name was given is Kazi one not six F. So Kazi one not six F, it is a tigress. so which resides in world heritage national uh, national park of assam that is kaziranga national park and this golden tiger is also called as tabi tiger or strawberry tiger because it is having uh, the skin of tigers is orange yellow with black strips and whitish abdominal region and yellowish background is controlled by the set of gauti genes and what happens so there are some 
changes or mutations in this agouti genes is seen okay so you can get a question like recently agouti genes is in use what is related to it related to rare golden tiger which is present in kaziranga national park clear so in this we also you can expect questions in your examination and next topic is about bulkus banos case so we let us see here so recently on january 8th supreme court delivered a landmark ruling regarding this bilkis bano case so supreme court quashed the order of remission which is granted to 11 members who were sentenced under this bilkis bano case okay to life imprisonment for a gang rape of bilkis bano and murder of her family during this 20 2002 gujarat riots or godra riots so if you're talking about what is this case about here is Gujarat has turned very violent after Sabarmati train was burnt in Godhra on 22nd February 20 2002 and in that event about 59 carsevers they were killed in the train and later on the fearing outbreak of violence that happened and what happened so here this 5 months pregnant Bilkis Banu fled from her village with her 3 and 1/2 year old daughter and along with her 15 other family members and they were attacked by about 20 to 30 people so whereas bilkis and her mother and three other women they were raped and brutally assaulted and only bilkis a man and 3 years old uh, survived in this attack and later on this case was taken up by national human rights commission and supreme court which ordered this case to cbi for investigation So this is about this case, and this is the timeline of this Bilkis Banu case. So in the 2002, gang rape and killings happened, and later on, trial court taken the issue, and Supreme Court ordered to uh, inf- inquiry by the CBI in 2003, and in 2004, accused arrested and trial shifted to Mumbai by Supreme Court, and 2008, 11 accused sentenced to life, and nine were acquitted. and 2017 bombay high court dismisses appeals by the convicts and 2019 supreme court uphold the high court order and in may 2022 supreme court refers a plea for remission back to gujarat government after gujarat high court ruled that maharashtra government is competent authority to decide on remission and finally in 2022 august 11 convicts are let off and finally now in this 2023 the decision which is given or 2024 january final supreme court judgment is k so this is about the timeline of this bilkas banu case and let us say next topic it is about rat hole mining in nagaland so especially this rat hole mining is very much famous in this north eastern states so here what happened why it is in news around six workers they were killed and four were seriously injured because of eruption of fire in this rat hole mines so if you are if you are talking about this rat hole mining it is illegal even though it has been banned by ngt okay in 2014 that is national green tribunal so it is still going on in areas so because of this it is raising some concerns with the nagaland government especially geology and mining department how to, regarding how to stop this illegal rat mining So the land in Naga land is either owned by a community or individuals, and because of this, government have the no control over the minerals and other natural resources. So this is the one important problem that is going on, and this is the reason why the government is not able to control this illegal rat hole mining in this region. So a police official said that the accident could be avoided whenever the miners and mine owners if they are followed the safety protocols. so because of no lack of the safety protocols if you're not following the safety protocols yes this type of incidents will happen so if you follow the safety protocols we can avoid this type of incidents so rat hole mining entails a tunnel big enough for a mid sized adult to crawl through squat and to extract coal with a pick axe so i will tell you like what is the meaning of this rat hole mining so rat hole mining is a method of extracting coal from narrow horizontal seams which are prevalent in meghalaya so the term rat hole refers to a narrow pits so through this narrow pits we are going for digging into the ground and typically just large enough for one person to descend and to extract the coal 
So one person they will be going and they will be crawling and they will be picking up of the coal. And once a pit or dug, so miners they descend by using the ropes or bamboo ladders to reach the coal seams. And the coal is then manually extracted by using primitive tools, for example, pickaxes, shovels, and baskets. And if you are talking about the types in this rat hole, so we have two types. The first one is side cutting procedure. Second one is box cutting procedure. So we are talking about the side cutting procedure. So in the side cutting procedure, narrow tunnels are dug. So if it is a slope, your narrow tunnels were dug into the slopes. And the workers go inside until they reach the coal seam. And they will be bringing the coal by using the traditional methods. And box cutting, it is a rectangular opening which is made and will be around 10 to 100 square meters. And through that, a vertical pit is dug to 100 to 400 feet deep. So once a coal seam is found here, rat hole size tunnels, they are dug horizontally through which workers, they can extract the coal. So if we talk about the concerns regarding this rat hole mining, so there is significant safety and environmental hazards. Okay, we have to follow the safety protocol and we need to take some measures for proper ventilation, for structural support or safety gear, etc. That should be provided for the workers. And the process is not only perilous for the miners, but even it is also detrimental for environment. So rat hole mining has been linked to the host of ecological issues. For example, if you are going for this rat hole mining, that will cause acidification of rivers, land degradation, deforestation, water pollution. Okay, so acidic runoff from these mines known as acid mine drainage, so which has been particularly very harmful because it is degrading the water quality and even that will be reduces the biodiversity in this regions. Okay, so these are some cause of concerns. And these are the important articles that appeared in our today's Hindu newspaper. So I hope it is very clear. So I discussed the important topics and I gave you the dimensions and I also linked with the syllabus where exactly we can fit and I am also giving the notes. So I think this is the complete okay, Hindu analysis that you can't find in any other YouTube channel. If yes, please hit the like button. Okay, and one more help or the favor that we are expecting from you is please do share this video with your friends or wherever your members like in any whatsapp group or telegram groups so please do share this video in the groups also so this is the only favor that i am requesting from you okay so if you are doing this favor then we will be coming up with lots and lots of informative videos so which will gain you the knowledge okay and one more thing is if you want to get the notes of this class you can visit our telegram channel Yeah, what happened? Here, yeah, this is our telegram channel, Rathod's IES classes. So here we are posting the PDF every day. And one more thing is, I will be also posting this UPS syllabus PDF in this channel today. So there you can get downloaded. And this is our YouTube channel, Rathod's IES Academy. So please do subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And this is our website, Rathod's IS Academy website. So here we are providing lots and lots of courses. And the price is very limited. It will be around less than even 3000 rupees for a single course, for a single module. So here, if you want to purchase these courses or if you are facing any problem in reading economy, history, geography or polity, anything. So you can take a single subject and this will be around less than 3000 rupees you can check the price of this course if you click this buy now okay so watch the demo videos and later on you can purchase the course and at last here we have this main sanskriting course so if you want to join you can join the course here okay so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture so please do subscribe to rathor's is academy and do like and share this video thank you so much for watching